I'm Paul Tucker. I'm a research fellow at the Mosova Romani Center for Business and Government at the Harvard Kennedy School here in Harvard University. The name of my book is Unelected Power, The Quest for Legitimacy in Central Banking and the Regulatory State. I have become concerned that our system of government has been changing without us noticing. Whose faces does one associate with the crisis of 2008, 2009? Chairman Bernanke of the Fed, um, Secretary Paulson, Secretary Geithner. None of these people were elected. Somehow Presidents Bush and Obama are not the faces that 10 years after the crisis we associate with getting us out of the crisis. This, is, this marks a remarkable change, and I wanted to, to write a book about why our societies on both sides of the Atlantic have handed more and more power to unelected people. In this country, in the United States in the 1930s, the system of government was creaking, the economy was falling apart, society was almost at war with itself and Roosevelt took a massive step of moving a lot of government away from politics. And then over the decades that have followed in Europe since maybe the 1980s, 1990s, it has suited the politicians to take fewer of the bigger decisions themselves. I like independent central banks. I think independent regulators are a good thing. But the people in Congress, the people in Parliament, have got to decide what they want these agencies to do and then monitor whether they're doing them and hold them to account. The really big decisions in politics and government should be taken in Congress and in Parliament. That it's a good idea to delegate some functions to independent agencies such as the Federal Reserve, such as the Securities and Exchange Commission, but only with a clear mandate so that we the people and our representatives in Parliament in Congress can track whether or not these delegated agencies are doing the job that we want them to do. If the objectives are vague, they can make up their own um, course of action, um, their own values. They can decide what they want to do. When government inevitably fails, as it does, massively so, in the run-up to the great financial crisis, People are frustrated if they can't simply vote out the people who let them down. No one can vote out the central bankers. No one can vote out the regulators. And I think that's, to be clear, I think that's good. But I think they need to be constrained much more than they have been. I was, I was a bit surprised to find that France had probably been more thoughtful about this than any of the other advanced democracy economies. Uh, more so than the US, the UK, or, or Germany. Their Constitutional Court and their top of Court of Appeal have set out um, the legal constraints on their agencies. But more important, the French Parliament, the Assembly, have set out a generic law for independent agencies. And as part of that, decided to reduce the number of independent agencies. And that followed a pretty extensive public debate in France um, a decade or so ago. And as I say, as an Englishman, I was slightly surprised by that. And I'm thinking, well, if they can do it, why can't we in Britain and why can't the United States of America? Um, in a slightly different way, why can't Germany? I think we're all going to end up doing this and I wish we could get on with it. The idea that the accountability of unelected technocrats lies entirely to unelected judges is somehow to miss the core of representative democracy. We elect people to take the really big decisions for us. And I don't want to get back to a world where Congress or Parliament passes laws that are incredibly detailed, but I do want them to make the very big decisions rather than delegating the very big decisions to unelected people. And the judges cannot cure that. Uh, legal liberalism, as some people call it, is not the solution, not the, the whole of the solution. Our Republican values, our Democratic values matter too. So one response is, 
Paul come off it. Um, it's the elected people that are the problem. It's the politicians that are the problem. What do you mean um, taking power away from unelected technocrats and giving more to politicians? And I, I just don't buy that. I, I, I think that um, the legitimacy of our system of government matters enormously. And another response has been, my God, um, here's a former top central banker who wants to trim um, the powers of central banks. What can be going on? And I think some of those people don't believe I'm for real, um, but I am. I hope this book matters because it's addressing a gap in our constitutional values. The world designed for us by James Madison, Montesquieu, Locke of a three-branch state we can still live with that, but we need to fill in some of the detail about how these independent agencies fit in. So my book is addressed to legislators, think tankers, constitutional lawyers. Um, I hope it's going to be debated. I've got quite a bit of interest from some capitals, but I really want this book to be debated. I, I want it to make a difference. I care more about that than whether people agree with me.